pedal plate. So wait, what do I do? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see here, we got the 3D Glowforge laser cutter printer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm going to be setting it up right now. This video is basically a setup slash unboxing. However, we already unboxed it. It came in two boxes. It came in this huge box. This is how it came. It came with all that styrofoam and all that stuff. This came in one box and then the crumb sheet, which is on the floor, came in a second and then just a bunch of material, like uh, tester material for wood and acrylic. But we're gonna be setting it up right now and I'm pretty excited about it. So apparently this setup is only supposed to take about 30 minutes. It's supposed to be super user friendly. So we are going to put that to the test and see if it's super user friendly. I'm sure it is, but who knows. Oh wow. Turn on this magic button and glow for setup on glowforge.com. Um, can you... Remove red strips, pull the, push the laser tube back gently, then lift off the two red silicone strips. Glowforge Pro only removing your Pro shields. Turn off your Glowforge. Lower your front door, lift the lid, and then lower the front door. Oh. oh. Then lift the shield away from the front door. Oh. The front Using two hands, gently pull the weight laser arm to the front of your glow forge. This will then explode the, expose the rear pro shield so that you can easily remove it. 
This is my brother helping me. So we got the Glowforge Pro, and there's three different types. I think it's like the Basic, the Plus, and the Pro. Snap the printer head, position the laser arm and metal plate, gently slide the metal plate on the laser arm all the way to the right, then push the arm to the back of the unit. So push this all the way to the right. Carefully pick up the printer head. Do not touch any part of the printer head that is not flat black metal. Be especially careful of removing the yellow window on the side of the head. Remove the printer head. Pick up the wire ribbon. Oh. Hold on, what does it say? Pick up the wire ribbon. I Pick up the wire ribbon holding only the finished black surfaces of the printer head. Pick up the printer head and wire ribbon as shown. Slide the ribbon onto the head Make sure that the tab on the wire ribbon is facing up. Slide the ribbon into the head until it clicks. Oh, this? Is it supposed to be this way? <coughs> so this. Yep, so make sure that's up and then you slide it right into that. Oh, okay. Did it click? No. Yeah. But I think that's, you push this out. And then there's yep. Out. Okay. There you go. Okay. So wait, what do I do? Do uh, I push this this way? Or do I move this? I would say you move that. And so I just rest it? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I push it. It should go in and then like it says it, uh, as shown, lower the printer head over the metal plate so that it rests next to the two round posts. Oh, whoa, okay. Got it. And then the magnet. Yeah. Yep. Make sure the head slides freely and move it to the center. Using both hands, gently move the laser arm to the center of the bed. Gently slide the head all the way to the left, then right. If it doesn't slide easily, make sure that the ribbon cable is a simple loop and there is no twists. Mm -hmm. Okay. Move the head back to roughly the center of the bed and un under the lid camera. Okay. So can I turn it on? And stuff. Uh, it said the next steps are set up exhaust, so. Oh. Mother! Ow! I don't understand what this, how we're supposed to clamp it. So for the exhaust, we have the window right here, but we bought one of these so that we can have the window slightly closed because obviously we live in Boston and it is winter here and it's freezing. So we're gonna try and close the window at least enough to get the heat and the smell out while also having the window closed because it will be freezing at the window. This is too big. It is. We were just gonna get a piece of wood and then attach that to it. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm.
peel back. Interesting. So it comes with all this material. So it comes with, I don't know what this was. Oh, medium walnut hardwood. It says it on it. Medium natural leather. It comes with maple plywood. Thick clear acrylic. That's pretty thick too. And it also comes with also another thing of thick clear acrylic, thick clear acrylic, which is something we love on the shop. Medium draft board. I don't even know what that is. Comes with medium draft board, draft board, and draft board. Okay. So let's test this out with draft board because we have a lot of the draft board. Hang on, you're out of focus. Okay. We'll make this for, uh, and then what do I do? Then I just print? Yes. Hitting print. Oh, am I supposed to press this? Yep. because it's the material that I had the most of. As you can see, it burnt a little bit. It kind of spread, the, the burnt kind of spread all over, but it, my brother says if you just sand it, it will go back to a nice uh, quality. Actually, we have a sander, so. So we just did our first cut and I'm just gonna kind of give you my recommendations on it. I have to say, setup was so easy when they say set up in like 30 minutes they're actually dead serious they're set up in 30 minutes super simple i think the longest process was actually getting the exhaust pipe out of the window and i have to say it didn't really smell that much i was expecting it to be super hot and smell and neither one i mean it's super loud but I would expect it, it's a laser. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited the products that I will be able to make with the shop and kind of show you everything. I'm still super, I'm a super big newbie at this. I would really love to just sit here all day and play with it and test out different products. I'm super excited to test out the acrylic. Uh, but right now I don't really have time to do that. So I think I am going to save that for another video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything that you want to know about the Glowforge, let me know. If anyone else has a Glowforge and they have any recommendations or any kind of cool tricks or hacks that they have, uh, let me know. I'm really excited to use this product. I've never been more excited about a piece of equipment before. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up or a comment down below. It really helps out my channel. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye guys.